Okay, this is just a short video uh, to just point out how absurd and stupid the video game industry is and why it's such a fucking joke and why anybody with brains doesn't want anything to do with it. So um, I, I just picked like one of the random, uh, you know, big budget games that they uh, were talking about at the last E3. Just use this as an example. So... Um, this is Bioware's Anthem, a game, and and so so check this out. Look at the beginning of the video, right? Hi, I'm John Warner, the game director for Anthem. And okay, so you know you hear like, oh hi, I'm John Warner, the game director of Anthem. You know, as if we're supposed to be impressed by this. Like, I'm Alfred Hitchcock, the director of. I'm Steven Spielberg. I'm I'm you know uh, the master of the world, right? Okay, so take a look at this shit. So John Warner, let, let's look this asshole up. Um, we, I think we want, we want Bioware. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're supposed to be impressed by this guy, okay? This guy is the director of a game with, uh, you know, $100 million budget, right? So l let's look at this guy and see what he did to, uh, you, you know, to, to, to earn this position. So he has a bachelor's degree in political science and government. His, his degree has nothing to do with any skills that would be related to video games. So his education is worthless. Uh, he did interface design at a no-name company uh, that Dell bought for two years. Once again, fucking useless, absolutely useless. He tested games for two years at Microsoft, uh, useless, and, and, and somehow, uh, you know, after after having basically no experience in games, he got hired by Disney to be a producer on relatively expensive licensed video games. So basically, he sucked a cock, or he knew somebody at Disney who gave him a producer. So so basically, he just so this is where the leap happened. In 2004, he made the leap to no talent fuckhead to producer of games. So, so, so this was this is what I call the cocksucking transition that he made. Um, so, and, and, and once again, though, I want to point out. So, look at look at the things that he produced. Uh, you know, all, you know, all, all these uh, fucking movies and stuff. What what in this guy's resume, uh, you, you know, had anything to do with producing games or movies? A absolutely nothing. O okay, so so then um, uh, he worked there uh, to until 2011, and then he jumped ship to EA. And uh, there, uh, he supposedly worked on, uh, he was a producer on a quote-unquote unannounced new intellectual property. So this never came out, uh, it, it fucking failed, and it didn't even make it to market. So, so, so far, he has no experience producing shitty licensed Disney trash, and now he worked on a project that was such a fucking catastrophe, it didn't even ship. Okay, so he fucking sucked, and then in 2012, he got pushed to uh, the Bioware division after EA bought uh, Bioware, and, and he basically produced shitty Mass Effect DLC and a shitty Wii U version of Mass Effect 3. So he had nothing to do with the development of those games and, and, and probably did absolutely nothing, but he was just pushed on as a producer of, of, of shitty DLC for a game. Okay, so, so now so, so that, that's his pedigree. That's what he's done in the game industry. Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. And, and, and look at him now. 2015 until now, he is the game director, the person leading a game with a fucking $100 million plus budget. This is why games are shit, okay? Do you fucking understand it now? If you actually look up pretty much any of the people that you see working on these video games, they're all no-talent assholes who knew somebody or bent over for the right person. That, that, that's basically what's going on. I mean, the industry is a fucking joke. Can you imagine being like a really talented artist or programmer who like worked really hard to, to be as good as they could be and you end up working for some fucking douchebag like this who did nothing and is capable of nothing? It, it's, it, it's amazing. I, I can't even imagine. So, so this is why smart programmers work in the financial industry where you make money hand over fist for doing easy work and uh, and, and, and why video games uh, for the most part fucking suck now because basically unless you go off on your own and uh, you know just you know work for yourself and make something that happens to be popular you end up working for John Warner 
Uh, it's a fucking farce, man. And, and and I guarantee you, just based on on this guy's pedigree, I mean, I mean, I mean, if this isn't just his title, and and in truth, he's actually doing nothing. If he really was responsible for all the game decisions, it's a very safe bet that this anthem game is going to be a middling, uninspired piece of shit. Because, like I said, this guy doesn't know fuck all about games. Um, he just jumped, you know, from you know wiener to wiener until somehow he failed upwards high enough to be able to direct this huge game with a gigantic budget. It, it, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a laugh, man. It's a fucking laugh. That's how absurd humans are.